guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Maria. I'm Bere. And we are Las Ex Cuñadas. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're gonna take you guys along with us on a. So right now we're gonna go to Oakland for a cafe. Hey, we should, go, we should go to San Jose later. It's Cinco de Mayo weekend. It's gonna be popping over there. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay, after I get my nails done, maybe. Oh, my mom brought me one. Wow. This nigga. Oh, thank you. Alright guys, so we'll see you guys in Oakland. We just got here. Um, yeah, we just got here to, what is it called? Orbit. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna but, see the menu and see what. Yeah, we need to look at the menu on our, on our phone because we've actually, it's our, it's actually our first time being here, like I had said, like I've been seeing a lot of people post about it. And I do know that there's a few here in Oakland, so hopefully this is the one that has the food. Hopefully, oh, yeah, they should. Because <laughs> I'm not driving around here no more. <laughs> we just saw some crazy ass shit here in Oakland, like nothing new. Culo. <laughs> but, nothing new, but I see me some culo, so no, no, no. Mm. Yeah. Are they closing? I don't think so. Anyways, we'll update you guys only that yeah, after we'll show. We got our food already. It smells amazing. This is the coffee. We got the sweet satin, right? I think so. Let's try it. Did they give you straws? Yeah, they gave us Okay. Let's try it. So I don't want to make it. I don't want to mix it. It looks too cute, huh? Yeah. Are we ready? Got the sunrise film. Come on, down I got the sunrise breakfast sandwich. I got the grilled. That's just big. She's been healthy. And we got two cookies. Okay, so the Oreo yeah. chocolate chip and the the planet one. Mine just has ham, mayo, cheese, and um, it's the smoked bacon, the applewood smoked bacon with egg and American cheese. Let's try it. Any grilled cheese, but <laughs> my bueno. Okay. Honestly, I was expecting for it to be better though. The coffee. Because everyone mentions it's the coffee's here, but I'm gonna have to ask around which one. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna try the cookie. Am I almost chocolate with Oreo? Mine's a party know. planet. Mm. This is good. It tastes like that cookie cave and then in my rancho. It's fun. It's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I thought it was just one. Ooh. Yeah. It's Look good. at my straw. Yeah. Okay. Just tell me some of the Um, I don't know. We're being honest, okay? So. The coffee's not. I'm not hating the straw. Perfect. Me doy como un siete. Like a four. What? <laughs> the sandwich? The sandwich is like a 
Okay, guys, so. The food got me sick. No, she didn't really like it. No, like, the sandwich is it, it, good, right? Pero ya después, like, I felt like throwing up. Y el café yo si no lo pasé. So I'm gonna stop by Starbucks right now. Because, uh uh. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, right now, um, we're gonna go to my dad's house because I do have to drop um, something for him. Y ya después, vamos a ir a recoger mucha comida. Okay guys, we are finally going to eat. So this is going to be like a little mc mcbomb or whatever. <laughs> so we are gonna show you guys what we got. The first thing is this, yeah. <laughs> this sushi. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's fucking, se mira good and it's fucking bomb so mm -hmm. shout out to el valentin, el valentin. shout out sí. to el valentin si quieren sushi ahí está la hacienda si viven en san mateo pues ya saben yeah está so la ordenen because si sí está super super bueno lo siguiente es son los tosti ceviche pero también tiene agua chile con mangos mm -hmm. so i don't know if you guys can see but no yes so that's shrimp, <laughs> but very good. We got some Cajun shrimp. Cajun shrimp. I've Little. been craving this for the longest, and he added rice to it, so. You guys can look him up on Instagram, Mariscos El Ajoyano. Or actually, I don't know if it's pom, but for some of it's that one on. Right now. So we've already tried the sushi, and we know for sure it's good. Mm -hmm. This is our first time trying from this person, so we'll see how it is. And. Arramos unas sodas. I got the vanilla Coca-Cola. Honestly, my favorite. A lot of people don't like it because just saying vanilla with it. But this one is fucking bomb. Yeah, I'm not going to ask this. Sorry. Um, where do we start? <laughs> Let's start by trying everything, though. Okay, should we try this first? Since ya sabemos, or? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> More napkins. Not gonna lie, that sabor is very good. I know you guys are probably gonna say all aguachiles also just taste the same. No, they don't. Depends the person that makes them. Mm. And these, hella good. Huh? What would you rate that? Oh, 10. 11 out of fucking 10. <laughs> Honestly. Are you ready for the next thing? I'm excited for that. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Yo voy a entrar con los dedos, ya. Ni modo. Yeah, you're right. But you have to make me see. I was like, okay. I want to like taste the flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. No oh, shit, that was nice. Lo único malo es que lleva talladera. Was that you say? Así se dice. Yeah, lleva talla. Pelando. Se va talla machín peleando, peleando, pegando los camarones, dude. Where's the potato? Yo, let me try the sausage. I'm not a big fan of sausage either, but. 
Oh, I've never looked there. You have to try it. I don't really like sausage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tienen un buen sazón. Yeah, shit, it's bomb, dude. Se la rifo. Se la rifo, aunque diga. It's spicy, though. <laughs> Support your small businesses. Local small businesses. Oops. Let's try some sushi. <laughs> Fucking bomb. Hey, y miren plebes, miren este, lo, está bien grande el pedazote. So, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in one of our last videos, we got a comment by Daniela. Love you. Thanks for giving us I, this idea. Um, Our YouTube name, Las Ex Cuñadas. So, I did mention it in previous videos. Mm -hmm, and, so last ex cuñadas means the ex sister in laws. So like I was saying, the ex cuñadas, our ex sister in laws, last ex cuñadas, obviously the. So Bere and I are actually ex cuñadas. We're actually ex sister in laws. Um, how we became. So one day we were just talking like about starting YouTube and we're like iffy about it. We're like, should we do it? Should we not do it? Should we? And it took us like a few months, though. No? Yeah, we were just saying like, we just around, say it, you know, like, we just say it hasta que un día le di, like, un se nos, baile. yeah, un baile, we're like, okay. should we start our channel today? <laughs> And we just started recording, not thinking that we were actually going to post that video. We were actually like, it was a Karin Leon too, huh? At the Cal Palace. At the Cal Palace. And we're like, we just recorded, but we weren't sure if it was, we're really going to post it, if it was really going to happen or not. Oh, my eyelash is like weird. Sorry. <laughs> I got off topic. But yeah, so we're like... Fuck it, let's do it. And we created Las Ex Cuñadas. Um, we did it more on the Spanish side just because we know a lot of people that speak, well, we know both Spanish and English speakers. That's why we're, we are Spanglish as fuck. <laughs> no, but in the, when we started the channel, it was just gonna be puros bailes. And puros bailes, jaripeos, jaripeos and stuff yeah. like that and makeup right and we our parents are both like from both sides are hispanic sorry the area where we live yes there's all type of nationalities but mostly spanish but people we know yes yeah, speak spanish and english but they're more into like the spanish side like jaripeos bailes clubbing um parties makeup or so and a lot of our family members in our parents countries are the ones that tell us oh record this do that mm -hmm. do this they're the ones that give us lots of ideas like Pero, if you guys see our messenger <laughs> with tias tios cousins even amigas or strangers, amigas, amigos, strangers that speak spanish that live over there in sinaloa or somewhere else even my little niece my little niece um as you guys know i am half guatemalan my little niece lives in guatemala with my sister so my little niece like sometimes was like tia te vi en la, en la tele or whatever and like stuff like that right so they speak obviously only spanish so it was going to be very hard for us to do english videos and a lot of you guys not understand but a la vez we do a little bit of everything we did get judged once because we talk both spanish and english we we um talk both spanish and english and I, we did make a video saying we don't care we're gonna 
continue being Spanglish as fuck just because, yes, we are born here. We grew up here in California. So we obviously know the English part, but we also know the Spanish part, right? So of course we're gonna continue doing it. I'm sorry if you guys don't like it, but we're going to continue doing it. Yeah. So that's how Las Ex Cuñadas came out, to be honest. We were just like, dude, Before that. like we're okay. ex we're ex cuñadas, you know, like fuck it, that'd be a cool name because no one really has it, right? No just one? the ex Marios, but yeah, the ex Marios. We but... weren't even thinking of them when we said the name. Nada. No, um, because we're like something that is actually part of us, you know, actually part of how we met, like, and yes, we met being cuñadas <laughs> and stuff. So then. Obviously, we're ex cuñadas now, <laughs> but we um after everything like after a while like we didn't talk for months. We didn't talk. It was kind of like like hey bye what's up like I see just text cause... just text or like Snapchat or whatever like nothing big. And then one day I invited her to eat dinner with me and my friend. Antoinette, if you get the past videos, you guys have seen Antoinette in our videos, and one of the funniest videos with the mouth part, the, the mouth <laughs> challenge. That she was oh, and the egg thing of which one of which um, friend knows me better, right, or something like that. The very, very, very tall, <laughs> like very tall, and Antoinette was either visiting. Yeah, she was visiting back from Mexico, if I'm not wrong, or she was visiting from Texas. I'm not 100% sure, but she was visiting back home from, I don't remember where. And I hit up Bere, and I was like, hey, like, you want to go out to dinner with me and my friend? And she was like, okay. And keep in mind, like, siempre la quería invitar a lugares, but because of our age difference, I... So, yeah, and then um, she said yes. And then I picked her up with my friend Antoinette. Did I pick you up first or did I pick up Antoinette first? I don't remember. I think I picked you up first and then I picked up Antoinette. I don't remember. Well, oh, yeah. We went to, what's it called? We went to CPK here at the Hillsdale Mall. If you're from San Mateo, you know what I'm talking about. So we went to CPK. We ate. It was your first time going there, no? Mm-hmm. I have never gone there. It was her first time. But I don't think she liked it, huh? I mean, it was okay. It was, um, Sorry, guys. I don't think she liked it, but we went and... Comimos, whatever. Comimos, we talked. We, were, we honestly didn't really talk much about each other's life. We kind of just talked much more like... I don't know, like just stuff in general, like random stuff. And then... That same night, we started drinking, <laughs> me being a bad influence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were both minors at the time. I was, like, 20, and you were younger. I was, like, 17. Yeah. No, I was 16. <laughs> Probably. So, we're like, whatever. And then we went somewhere to go dancing or whatever. And then, guys, tell you guys not, that day, we almost got into a big-ass car accident thanks to this dumbass that was driving us around. <laughs> And nosotras de pendejas for trusting this guy. But other than that, fucking bueno, stupid. <laughs> Never again. Um, we were so scared, dude. We were so scared. It felt like a movie. Like, it felt like a fucking down. movie. I don't know. So if you're from like the Bay Area or like... San Mateo. San Mateo. I don't know if you, you guys for sure need to know what I'm talking about. So on the... On 101, going south, like, let's say you're coming from Burlingame or... Por Coyote Point, pues. Yeah, by Coyote Point. Once you get on the freeway to come back, like, south, like, the freeway, like, the carpool area, like, the walls hella close right there. Almost ran into that, like, almost drove into that, and we were all, like... We went, we went kind of, like... <laughs> and we were, like... <laughs> but... We got home safe, thank God. <laughs> but after that day, we hung out all, almost every day. <laughs> yeah, literally almost every day. Almost after that day. Because before that, when we were actually cuñadas, we never hung out. Bitch, I would be at your house 24-7. Yeah, but it's not like we hung oh, out. Oh, right, right. 
You're right. Hi. Like, We're it's young. not like we, like, hung, hung out. It was kind of like, hey, Hi, what's bye, up? Yeah. Thing. And then after that day of almost dying, <laughs> we never left each other's side. Oh. <laughs> Since then, every, not um, well, almost every day. We almost out. every day. Almost every day until, like, maybe, like, three, four, five months after. We started hanging out every day, like every single day. Go to Haripel together. Haripel. I'd bring her with me everywhere. Like, it was like we never separated each other. Like, we would always be together. We'd go out to eat. We'd go out to dance. We'd even just to like chill at home. Mm -hmm. We'd be together. And like everything. Like, and then it got to the point where I moved locations. But todavía aquí en San Mateo. She'd be at my house every day. She'll pick every me up. Every day. Every I get off work. I'm like, where are you? My house. Okay, I'm on my way. Pick her up. We'd either go get our nails done. We'd either go get, like, tea pumps. We'd either go eat or just chill. Like, literally chill. Mm -hmm. Oh, a ver, pa donde nos íbamos, right? And then... And then years of friendship now. Yeah, dude. Because this years place, like, on my car... Y no me tiene que decir dos veces, I'm out of, I'm out of work. Ahí venía yo en chinga. Yeah, going to the mall almost every day too. Yeah. No hallábamos en que gastar el dinero, to be honest. When like, COVID started, we would hang out just to go to Starbucks. Like, even it was like three, four, five times a day, but íbamos, dude. Íbamos, esperábamos, nos esperábamos. We would go to all the daily city, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. So when COVID hit the pandemic, the quarantine, the Starbucks is here in San Mateo no. were closed. And the only ones that were open were drive through. The only ones close to us was the one in San Jose and the one in Daly City. Y nos íbamos, dude, esperamos the first time we went, we went to San Jose. Remember? I think so. The first time we went, we went to San Jose until like like two days later we realized we yes, had a closer one, one in mm -hmm. Daly City. And I was like, bro, like you're fucking right. And then after that, casi todos los días nos íbamos para Daily City y la línea del drive-thru, you'd probably be in that line for up to an hour or more. Mm -hmm. Y ahí nos quedábamos, listening to music, just vibing. Uh -huh. And then we just got closer and closer and closer and closer. And I think that's when, like, around that time is when we first started posting, huh? No. We've been oh, posting, no. yeah, because we've, we've been with the yeah. YouTube thing for like a year and months. Porque that's when COVID started. Remember, we went to Mexico yeah. and then we wanted to like, because, yeah, pues como dije, we are, China was going to be mostly on bailes and stuff like that, but then COVID started, so mm -hmm. it did a whole. Like, get ready with me and stuff, but we feel like yours. we already did a lot of that. And then we've been vlogging too a lot. So it's like, damn, like we need other ideas too, you know, like we've only been vlogging. But there's nothing much to do, to be honest. Like, yeah, I mean, but it's not like we're doing this to like. Ah! Como, como I don't know. What are you trying to say? We're, we just do this for fun, pues, you know? We like, do this for fun. And just like un pasatiempo, I would say. Yeah, it's not like, oh my god, let's get famous. No, si se hace, pues sí, si no, pues también, you know? Yeah. It's just memories that we're gonna have when we're memories. Yeah, dude, cuando nos encierran en el mismo asilo. Like, this trip that, like, is coming up, it was unplanned. It was unplanned, but it was like, damn. Mi amiga, hola. Like, it's hola. meant to be, right? It was like, meant to be. But... <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> and then, um, even her mom was like, damn, no se pueden separar ni un ratito. And then I was like, Honestamente. and it's because, like, she was already going, right? She was already going. And then me, it was like, bro, like. I told her about it, and I'm like, girl, you should go because I'm going. And she's like, you know what? I think I am. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yay. And then, but it was like so unplanned. But the thing is that it's just the dates. Well, we don't know a date yet, but it's just like around the dates. I'm just like, <laughs> like, this is meant to be. This is meant mm -hmm. to be. Like, it's time. Like, it, it's meant to be and it's time. And then I just got very excited that day. Huh? I got kind of emotional that day. She was calling everyone. I was calling everybody. I was like, guess where I'm going? <laughs> like I said, we and then we've always been 110% honest with each other. Honestly, les, les, no les miento. Yo no creo que nos hemos peleado. 
no nos hemos peleado, to be honest. No hemos tenido ni un disgusto ni así de chiquito. Like, yeah. it's been a good friendship to the point where we haven't gotten into a little argument. We, there was one time where she really pissed me off. And I told oh. her about it. I told her about it. But I it didn't piss me off because I was mad at her. It just pissed me off because I knew that her doing this was going to bring her into a bad situation. And it was going to be a very bad outcome. ¿Y qué creen? A I very know. bad outcome came out of this. And when she told me what happened, I was just kind of like, okay. I was like, I told you so. I didn't want to tell her anything at the moment because I know she was not having it. And I didn't want to make her more upset. So all I said was, good night. You know? Because I think when we're both like in a bad, bad mood, I mean, yeah, we can we, be assholes. Like, no, I see. Yeah, I noticed that because I'm like, fuck. Like I, started, like, I knew that I was wrong, but I'm like, fuck. Like... And I just did it to like kind of like protect her, like her yeah. well being, her feelings, or whatever. I did it to protect her. And I kind of told her, I was like, don't do it. And I did it. And I was like, I'll send this person to help you. But no, me mandó la verga, but. Se la tengo. Lección. No, se la tengo guardadita. No, aprendí mi lección. <laughs> Tenía tiempo que no te gapeaba en un video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Like, nunca nos hemos peleado, thank God. Mm -hmm. And, like, somos las personas que si algo nos molesta, like, we mm -hmm. kind of tell each other, mm -hmm. like, hey, bere, like, like, hay que decir que es entre dos personas. I, and even if ella es mi mejor amiga, or, like, she's my best friend, I'm going to tell her if she's wrong. Mm -hmm. Siempre le digo si ella está en lo correcto o la otra persona está en lo correcto. Y si le digo, like, amiga, la neta, estás exagerando. And I told him straight up, you're over exaggerating. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I see no, you know. Y ella lo mismo conmigo. Like, I'm we really might get bad. annoyed. We might get annoyed. Oh, yeah. Pero nunca es extremo, pues. Like, yo sé que nos, como que nos enfadamos a veces. Because, like, I'd be telling her one shit and she'd be telling me one shit. Y a veces como que, what she tells me and I tell her, it, like, bumps heads. Like, mm -hmm. we're in two different. I'm, like, north and she's, like, south. <laughs> yeah, pero nunca a ese punto de que... Like, big ass fire or anything like mm -hmm. that. Que nos hemos dejado de hablar al contrario. Like, if, even if we're knowing, like, decimos, ¿y a dónde vamos? <laughs> yo le mando unos 10 minutos, ella otros 10 y otros 20 y ella unos 30. <laughs> Honestly, no. What was the time. longest audio? Like, 16 minutes, huh? Honestly, I don't remember. I think the one I sent you was like 10 or 8 minutes. No, ya, yeah, había uno como de 16. And we were both like, damn, pinche la vela. <laughs> Pero ahí estamos, dude. <laughs> Y nos contestamos con otro audio de otros 15, 20 minutos. No es más papá. Yo creo que we text every day. Yeah, we do. Ok, guys. So. ¿Nos da answer your question? It's kind of all over the place porque, like. We're all sorry, the guys. Sorry. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to press on the little bell. Every time, oh, to get notified every time we post a new video. I hope you guys like this video. So, what? <laughs> I don't know what I like, So, I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was another, not all that video, but. Maybe, Maybe it's going to be a long video. You okay. get the point. Give us ideas down below so we can start recording them and prank ideas them and broma ideas ideas para hacerle una, una broma a berenice un prank si sí, por favor okay i hope you guys like this video